In the past, anything and everything that escaped the European standard was considered an aberration. Precisely for this reason, several people considered unusual were exploited by freak shows and degrading exhibitions. During her short 26 years of life, Sarah Bartman was exhibited in European museums as a freak that strayed from the ordinary. She toured Europe as the Hottentot Venus, from fur-covered women to the smallest of men, Africans and South Americans, for example, were constantly subjugated. In true circus families, many were carried from one continent to another in order to raise money. That was the case with Sarah, or Sarji, Bartman. Owner of a body that was far from the standards imposed at the time, the African woman was considered an attraction and, for this reason, she lived a lifetime exposed in European museums. Were you curious? Then join us on a journey of exploring the mysteries of the past. Origin Uncertain Little is known about Sarah's origins, even though she was constantly scrutinized by European bourgeois. The young woman is believed to have been born in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa in mid-1789. Beginning of public life After the tragic death of her boyfriend, with whom she had a son who died shortly after birth, Bartman began working as a domestic servant in the home of two Europeans. The English William Dunlop and Hendrik Caesars noticed the exuberance of the woman's body in European eyes and signed a generous contract with her to show off in Europe. No way out, she accepted, since they had few things that bound her to South Africa. Natural Causes Carrier of a specific genetic condition, Sarah had an abnormal accumulation of fat in her buttocks, making them disproportionate to the rest of her body, which caught the attention of the British. With that, her body became completely different from those seen in most Europe. According to the author of The Hottentot Venus, The Life and Death of Sarji Bartman, big buttocks were in fashion at the time, and many people envied what she naturally had. Therefore, the woman was exposed to onlookers in one of the busiest squares in London, Piccadilly Circus. Explored the characterization of the girl was racist. Characterized with colored feathers and tight clothes the same color as her skin, the woman would appear smoking a pipe, and after performances she was hired for private exhibitions, in which men could touch her body. After being in the hands of the two Englishmen, a series of legal problems involving the work situation in which she found herself, whether she was forced to work or not, which she herself denied, however, it is not known if she was co-opted, made her for Sarah to pass into the hands of an animal exhibitor. With him, the woman would be addicted to alcohol and, supposedly, entering the world of prostitution. Hectic End of Life not even after her death at the age of 26, with suspicion between syphilis, pneumonia, or alcoholism, her remains were able to rest. His corpse and private parts remained on display in the French capital, Paris, until 1974. It was not until 2002, at a request made by Nelson Mandela in 1994, that the remains of the woman exploited by Europeans were taken back to her homeland. With this move, her corpse was finally buried and is now protected with a monument. Did you already know the story of Sarah? Tell us here in the comments. There's a link to a book that tells your story in more detail. And how about watching another video? Thanks for watching this far. Until next time.